Alrighty. Hello, friends. Happy Thursday. Hope everybody's having a nice, cozy evening. I've been in meetings all afternoon, so my brain is fried. <laughs> so I'll do my best to keep y'all entertained and cozy. But uh, yeah, my brain is just really toast <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Oh, Shane is here. Shane came in and swiped that first, got comms, and then is right into a lurk. I appreciate you, friend. We love lurkers here. Lurkers are the best. They are wonderful. Uh, got three of seven comps. That's not too bad. And Squid Monarchy is here, getting second, getting four comms. All right, all right. I did give Shane an extra comm, so I will... I will give you an extra comm too, Squid, just for funsies. I think you also get some comms for claiming first, second, and third. I can't remember how many you get, though. I'm curious now. I'm going to peek at what I did. Hold on. Commands. Uh, what is it called? Twitch channel points. Twitch channel points. That's probably where it is. First. First gives you... It gives you seven. So first gives you seven. Second gives you seven. So you actually get seven comms every time you get first, second, or third. I should make sure to put a little chat message so y'all know that you get those comms so i'm gonna give myself a reminder remind me uh, add a chat message to one two three commands oops that's the wrong thing remind me with an exclamation point add chat message about comms four one two three command there we go it's nice to have a little log of reminders i love that feature mix it up Ooh, squid's coming in checking some chaos feeling 53 percent chaotic you know that's right right there smack dab in the middle I'm curious to check mine Yes, that shout out is an automatic one because you are a very important person in our channel, Squid. We want to make sure you're recognized. <laughs> I should give you the VIP badge. I don't know why I haven't, honestly. Can I do that here? No, I'll have to do it after stream. I should give you the VIP. Remind me, give Squid the VIP. Not terrible. Yeah, it's not terrible at all. Not terrible at all. It's actually quite good. Quite good. Ooh, I'm right there with you in the middle. I'm only 56% chaotic today. That's so funny. We're, we're twinsies. We twins. All right, let me close that. So it's been a little bit since I last played through Chrono Cross with y'all. So I'm going to try to remember where we were. Last I remembered, we died. <laughs> <laughs> there was a boss it was spooky and it was scary i think the strategy that i learned is we need to get some skills and we need to get starkey to use those skills because he's the only white innate that we have at this point uh i'm only average chaos but i thank you for the recognition you can always duck out early to rival you it's no rivalry squid it's shared love and appreciation for the strims I'm gonna check my cozy level. How cozy am I today? Only 34% cozy. That's not fair. I wanna be more cozy. It's my biscuit level. Ooh, 51%, 51%. Not too bad, not too bad. Only 4% harmonizing with the corn today. That's dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. We'll have to work on improving that. You always spoil my fun. <laughs> sure, we are in competition and we're going to fight each other. My video is completely out of sync with my voice. I don't know if it's coming out that way. 
but it looks like that when I look at the screen. <laughs> oh well. It's this Chrono Cross game. It takes up a lot of bandwidth on my machine, which it shouldn't, but it does. It seems like a very intensive game. Oh well, it's a beautiful game. I like it anyway. I'm going down. <laughs> I bet I am. So without further ado, we will switch over to the game scene. Hey, Emmy. Hello. Uh, yes, I am now Squid Monarchy's rival. We are going to fight. We going to battle. I also can be very lazy, Squid. It's okay. <laughs> How was your day, Emmy? How was a, your nice cozy day back to your normal routine? I imagine that must have been nice. Kind of getting back into the swing of things. I'm not losing any frames. I'm just lagged. Uh, it's nice being home. A lot more productive. Yeah, I bet you would be. So this is 2037. Okay, looks like it's the same. So we need to do this. Oh, you on cooldown. Wait another 30 seconds. Sorry. Sorry, Emmy. You're just too cool. We'll have to figure out some crowns where we can fight that would be hilarious. Maybe a pillow fight or tic-tac-toe. Ooh. There's a lot of good options there, Squid. I'm going to have to put my thinking cap on. We could roll off. This is not going to roll. I rolled a 9 on a d20. My mix-it-up thing isn't doing its thing. Let me, hold on, let me switch to push studio mode. Because there definitely should be sound, and I don't hear it. So I'm going to go over here, and we're going to turn all of these off, and turn them back on. And 18! Oh my gosh! You are the winner. You are so the winner. Okay, now I hear it. <laughs> I got an 18 on that one. I'm rolling with advantage. I'm rolling with advantage, so I get an 18. Because <laughs> it's my stream, dang it. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, I think your thing played. It just didn't show because the, the browser source didn't refresh. So we'll play it again for you. Leva! <laughs> and don't forget, there are also, for now, until I implement the orchestrian roll system, there are also these sound effects that you can play at any time during the stream. I need to add more to them, but they're there. Let's try... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, they do. They are survivors. They're always obsessed with me. They are. She's right. It's not a lie. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. But yeah, I think that's on a cooldown. Um, I can't remember what the cooldown is. Munch butts and celebrate Halloween. <laughs> yeah, so you can play those. Um, I think it must be every 60 seconds. I really need to add some more niche ones, but those, that's the ones I have so far that I worked on. All right, so we need to change our party. So we're going to remove all of Harley's. I'm going to keep Radius. Actually, I want to keep Harley. Poop. Let's reload our game. I don't want to have to redo her grid. 
load. Because <laughs> we need Starkey. Okay, so we're going to dump Radius. So remove all. Yes. And his equipment. So they have to have something on them. They can't just take it off, which is weird. But these you can just go here. Take it off. Take it off. Uh, it's too bad you can't save the grid as like a layout to apply one all at once. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice, but uh, nope. Let's meet our teleporter. And we need to replace Radius with Starkey. Because I think Starkey is the only white innate character I have access to. So we'll take Starkey. And we need to go back to Goldove. Get him some skills. Norris is stylish, you're right. He's kind of a jerk, but he's a stylish jerk. Look at Starkey, he's so cute. All right, let's go get some elements. Do you sell elements? No, that must be upstairs. I didn't think he sold elements. Hello. They've come to buy stuff. Hmm. Temporarily annuls foes magic only of innate color white. That's what I want. Negate magic. <clears throat> oh, that's cool. Negate physical. Keeps hit of basic attacks at 90. Oh, that's a cool skill. What's this one? Temporarily stops everyone's elements. That might be worth taking too. Shifts your status effects onto the enemy. Ooh. These are actually some pretty cool skills. Okay. So let's buy a couple. Whoop, let's buy the big ones I need. A couple more of those. Text your opponent's HP data. But you have to be green. I do have radius. We'll take one of those. Magnify, I have one. They have diminish. Seal off. I'm gonna take that one. Okay. Those are actually cheap, so we'll, we'll buy three of them. It's the other one I just bought. Purify? Stores all status effects? Wouldn't hurt to have more of those. Okay. What's the Energizer suit? Automatically recovers HP. That's kind of cool. Starkey can't wear a dress? That's not fair. Alright, Mithril Mail. What kind of accessories can we put on you, buddy? Slightly increases the amount of gold, attack power, hit, and magic, stamina recovery. Oh, a Mithra Helmet. Yeah, that'd be good. 
intake blue. Protection from flu, burn, sprains, and poison. That sounds good. Let's catch that. And catch up to 43. Let's get this one. Okay. Wish I had more of those protects you from poison things. That would be nice. That's kind of a cool one. It's done by all kinds of attacks. A thrill. Mm. I think I'll give you that. Okay. Alright, now we need to check a look at Starkey's... Oops! Elements. He's so cute! Let's reorder by any color. Definitely need a revive. Couple recover alls. Purify. And negate magic. Turn foes, attribute, allies, attacks, white. Meteor. Photon beam. Photon ray. Purify. We got two of those. And see ya. Heal all. So healing supplements, a cure plus, heal, heal all I think I put on already, yep. Thank you for the follow Paradox plays, <laughs> oops all caps, well, welcome on in, hello. I think I met you on Twitter, correct? You were talking about putting together a tabletop um fundraising activity in march or something like that it looked like a lot of fun it's your wife <laughs> so you must know emmy i'm assuming that that's cool small world friends small world uh yellow no we've been wives for years so many years. All of them. Okay. So let's just go now with attacks. See what attacks we can take. We got yellows, greens, blues, inferno. We have a good one to take. Yes! A one shot for the event. That would be so cool. I think that's a fantastic way to do a fundraiser. That's so cute. I love it. Oh, beam. Oh. Um, Perry knows buttons too. Ooh. Alright, so now we're just going to auto-allocate the rest of the slots for Starkey. Let the game figure out what to give Starkey. I think I'm happy with that grid. So we've got two magic, or maybe get magics. Perfect. Okay. And I think I got some new black ones. I'm very much interested. Yes. Yes, please. All right, diminishes on. Put that on. Yay! Yeah, I've been wanting to um, do some tabletop stuff myself on stream. I'm just kind of 
taking a seat back right now while the tabletop community kind of sorts itself out. Because <laughs> it's, uh, it's something right now. It's something right now. Because <laughs> I wanted to, my, my plan was to run a campaign based off of the Strixhaven books and have it be a slice of life campaign. So more about like building relationships and bonds rather than the dungeon crawl uh, that you might find in a D&D session. Um, but now that both Harry Potter and the tabletop community are like up in arms right now all over Twitter, I'm just like, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. Well, we'll get to it sometime. I think I might instead focus on trying to maybe get some uh, one shots written up with some different rule systems. I have a friend that does. Quick, sorry, I'm half paying attention. Um, who's play? Seal all. Stops everyone's elements. Okay, that's a cool skill. Turn black, hell soul. I'm sure I've got that on. Okay. Yes. Uh, did one based on Hansel and Gretel, and I'm writing one based on Courage the Cowardly Dog. You write and run your one-shots based off whatever crosses your mind. That is so fascinating, Perry. I love that. That's so neat. Yeah, I, I have a hankering to get back into some tabletop roleplay. It's been a bit. I have a group that I play with locally, um, but as you know, one of the, the killers of a tabletop RPG campaign is having coordinated schedules for everybody. And we've we've been suffering pretty hard uh, since the summer in getting everybody to be able to participate and come. So I'd like to get back into that. Okay. So, we've got Starkey now. <laughs> You're in a session right now! Well, you know, sometimes it's important to, to take a step, to take a break, and zone out for a minute. I know I've had difficulty keeping focus for hours and hours and hours in a tabletop RPG session. <laughs> I went to um, PAX Unplugged, uh, a few months ago, I think it was was it early December, which was really fun, and there was a lot of great panels about safety tools in tabletop RPGs, and I had never encountered a lot of that before, and I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons and other stuff forever, um, like 10, 15 years? I've been, I've been playing a long time. And I had never had anybody at their table use safety tools. I'm like, what is this? This is a game changer. So I really would like to run a campaign utilizing and highlighting the importance of those tools. I think it could mean a lot for folks. Is it over here? Oh, there is. Oh, that was the way we we're supposed to go, because there's the boss that kicked our butt last time we tried to play this. Oh, you guys did one for Christmas? That sounds fun. Or do they both lead to the same direction? Let's go up here and see. It's like these creepy ghost-looking characters. Got a capsule. The whole lore behind this area in the game is really interesting. Because it's from the far future. So that took us to the same place, essentially. But you couldn't get up here. Okay. So this is a big boss. And it kicked my butt. So we'll see if we can get it. Now that I've swapped to a different character. <laughs> We'll see. Alright, Harley, she's got a shield that will buff us. So 
so I'm going to do that. Is it moonshine? Use lunar energy to protect your party. Yes. So we're going to use that. Moonbeams, activate! Okay. Still hits for 43, just as regular melee damage. He's skilly. Um, drops foe from speed, throw cats. I'm gonna do Feral Cats, because Starkey can seal his abilities. Temporarily. I don't know how long it lasts, but he can seal it. Okay. So I guess we'll use the lesser one to negate magic. Play the Null's foe's magic attacks. Why is it going to a party member? Oh, it protects one party member. I got you. I thought it was the... Okay. We'll do that. So it's a barrier. I get it now. And it missed. That makes sense. I want to seal. Mm. Let's make a magma burst. I'm going to save that for when I run out of heals. So I can get some big damage out. 102. Big damage. Oh, I see. So his hit rate is down. So I guess we will... Heal? Let's do a heal. I don't know how to not get that status effect or heal it. I'm just gonna drop a meteorite. Er. Three hits. It's rude. So Harley is still able to attack. Okay. And she doesn't have a purify, I don't think. Um let's defund. Defund. Aha! Purify. Um, Starkey. Uh, 
Okay. So then we're gonna negate magic on um, Starkey. Beautiful. Do I heal? There's the gas. So it should miss the two of them. It does. Let's get that darkness removed. I just don't think I have any items that prevent darkness. Ooh, cheeky. Starburst. Ooh, it's like a little robot Voltron guy. How cute. Take that. Robot against robot. 195 dammies. Good job, Starkey. Seal all stops everyone's elements. Revenge, she doesn't have. Heal all. Moonbeams. Let's do moonbeams. I'm low on HPs. Very nice. Punch, punch, punch. Yes, thank you. Uh, do that. What's his other skill? Starlight. the same with that guy. One sixty nine. Ooh, he's looking he's looking pretty hurt. There's the exhaust. Okay. Didn't get Harley. Ninety five. It's not bad. Yeah, that, um, what skill was it? Darkness is really challenging because when you have darkness and your hit rate goes down. You can't get stamina to use your elements, it's really crippling. Yay, we killed it! He's dead. We can now progress the story that I got stuck on last time. Yay! <laughs> that feels good. Alright, we got a new star.
terrific. All right, I'm going to go save my game. <laughs> and while I go save the game, why don't we take a quick ad break? And I'll be back in about 90 seconds, friends. Use this time to practice some self-care, go refill your beverage, and I'll be right back very shortly. There we go. I'm back. I'll save the game. So it looks like we can keep going that way to get out. But how do we get... There's two chests down there. Guessing we go back to the beginning and go behind. Very nice, Emmy. You uh, you got your free comms there, Shank and the robot. These little ghosties are cute. Okay, so let's go this way. Okay. There's a chest up here too. Ooh, five of seven. Not bad. Got a screw. The little ghosty's trying to get me. There's a chest here. Some mithril. Sweet. Oh, there's one down there too. <laughs> Didn't you get, um... Seven comms yesterday, Emmy. Refill. Uh oh. <gasps> Scary. We'll put it there. Refill is powerful as heck. Thank you for the group hydrate, Emmy. Let's all make sure we keep hydrated, friends. Haven't had any awkward voices to do, so I'm sure we'll need hydrates later. And we get through some cutscenes. <laughs> Thank you, Emmy. I think there's one more chest I need to try to get to down this road, perhaps? There it is. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not Saf who will spam the button. Yeah, he was happy to spam the button and try to drown us all. <laughs> it's okay. We learned and we put limitations. That's what cooldowns are for, right? I'm just really impressed in how they redrew a lot of these backdrops. It's so gorgeous. It's just pretty. Okay. Okay, so we made it to here. I am not worried in this playthrough about the bestiary. So one of the characters we're probably not going to get on the first playthrough is Janice. And the only way to get Janice is you have to compete on the pirate ship with basically like a monster battle gaming. And one of the characters that's in our party, Sprig, has the ability to capture monsters. And so those are the ones you're going to battle. And I'm kind of thinking when we do a either a continue plus or a new game plus, that's a better opportunity because I'll be much more powerful to try to collect those than trying it right now on our first playthrough of the game. Because we're going to have to do at least three playthroughs to get all 45 characters because that's how many paths there are into the game. Oh, there's a treasure behind this guy. Might have to fight him. Maybe not. 
a resistance belt. What's that? Uh, decreases the time that status effects last. Okay, just like the resistance ring. Let's put that. Reduces damage to mount kinds of attacks. We'll put it on Starkey. Um, we'll place that. Okay. There's a door there. There's a ghosty guarding a treasure there. Okay. Hi, Mr. Ghosty. A stamina ring. Cool. I'm gonna go in that door though. See what's in it. Kung Fu shoes. Must be an accessory. But it increases our attack. Improves evasion. Oh, that's cool. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Another treasure chest down here. Anti green. Excuse me. Alright, the Tower of Geddon. I forgot to set my ad timer. There we go. Here come some voices, I imagine. This must be the center of the Dead Sea. All this chaos must have spread out from here. Mm -hmm. The buildings seem to have melted into one giant conglomeration. What's up with this place? Look at the little zombie lady. She's just hanging out over there. It's so cute. Oh, there's a treasure upstairs. Does this do anything over here? No. Is this an elevator? Looks like it could be. Just make sure there's no weird equipment or items back there. Okay. Can't go that way. Can I go this way? We got the other. They kind of remind me of the Silent Hill nurses. Just very creepy. No, thank you. Is this an entrance? It is. Okay. I want to get that treasure chest. Doo -doo -doo. Another mithril. I'm going to go, I think, to this doorway first. See what's in there. Look at the little ghosty. He's just hanging out over here. It's like this train crashed. Can I talk to him? Ooh, a purify. Alright, you have a purify. Do you have purify? No. 
You do now. Give you two of them. Is there anything over here? Oh, there is a path up there. Okay. But is there a path down there? If I talk to this guy, does he attack me? It is time you must go. You will miss the train. Okay. Too slippery. Where's he going? Oh, that's nice. You can just teleport your way up there. Rude. Please present your station pass for Eris Dome. I wonder, if, is Eris Dome one of the locations in Chrono Trigger? I honestly don't remember what the names of the domes were in the future. I would guess it is. Alright, so we're looking for a key card somewhere. like cables. Oh, here's a pathway. Okay. What are we looking at, friends? What's wrong, Serge? Did you send something? Creepy little girl. Okay. Are you alright? No. <laughs> no, I'm not alright. What? You saw a child? I didn't see a child anywhere. Nothing will surprise Starky here. Let's just keep going. That girl looks like a drag queen. Oh no, Emmy. Not Ian M. Scott again. Alright, we got a feather. That's, I'm going to preemptively <laughs> give a calm. Poor guy. No, that doesn't do nothing. There's something under here. No? Okay. Chuck girl, coming through. Lip sync for your life. A heal all. That one's a really good skill. He's got one. She's got one. Does Starkey have a heal all? Everybody's got one. Okay. Another chest over here. Cure plus. I have some of those. Hey, this sword looks familiar. Link's received prop sword. Alright, so we got a fake sword. It's like a little play going on over here. Anything in the well? No? Okay. Is it a key item, the prop sword? Or is it... Here it is. Yep. Okay. It's giving Midgar Sector 7. path to the Shinra building. Just a hot mess. Sus. I do not trust. I do not trust ghosts. 
We're inside the building yet. What's this, this thing is doing in here? This place is beyond Starkey. Can you go up this way? Oh, you can. Interesting. Well, I want like this treasure chest over here. A seal all. Cool. Another door that way. All right. I'm going to go to the door I just saw first. See what's up there. Then we'll go up that other door. Oh, squid! Oh no, squid! How dare! How could you? Look at all these ghosts. It is unfortunate, but it appears they were at captive before here before they died. It's too late. They are so close yet so far. No one can help them. That looks familiar. That looks like Chrono. Did you see the little spiky red hair? Wow, Emmy, right at your, after your own wife? Perry. Oh my gosh. How awful of you. We got a domestic up in chat, friends. What are we going to do about it? Are we going to have to kick Emmy for being toxic? These ghosts are just like staring at this little thing. What are they looking at? Look, it's Chrono. That's totally Chrono. Are you alright? What's wrong? You've been acting strangely ever since we entered the building. She's. She's. Oh my god, she's. I mean, it's awful what you're doing. Is that the child again? There's no turning back now, we must keep going, Serge. When you say there's no turning back, are you saying I should go to the other area first? Because that's what I'm interpreting that is. I love Kelly. Kelly's so good. I'm going to interpret that direction from the developer saying, go look over there first. Okay. Oh. It was just Mithril. I thought that was a doorway. Goodness, Emmy. I will also give Perry a calm. Is there anything up, up, up? No. Okay. I never did get a station card. How do you get a station card? I wonder if you get it from killing one of those little ghost ladies. Please hold. Chrono cross walkthrough. Help. Let me phone a friend. So we are... Oops. Scroll, scroll, scroll. We are at... Here. Yes. Oh no, we are not there. That's... We already did that. We are at the Dead Sea. That's right. The Dead Sea. My rival who defeated me. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. There we go. Right to the bot. <laughs> so we killed that guy. We got those. Yep. I turn the intersection when I must climb the ladder at the end of the room for some events. If you press the red button, the system fails to force you to leave the room. Go southwest. Climbing. Purifying. Check out the spot where the geos vanish for the station pass. Okay. So we got to go back. We got to go back. I got it. I figured it out. Look at that! Free comms for me! 
All right, Squid, let's have another roll off, except this time do D100. I got a four. I don't think I'm going to win. <laughs> Just do exclamation D100 to roll a hundred. All right, we're gonna pass these ghost ladies. Nope, just uh, the letter D100. There you go. Got a 35. I guess I shouldn't have it delete that message so you can see the the command that it's using. I should change that. Doesn't have the fancy roll effect though that the D20 command does. No? No station pass? It said there was supposed to be a station pass right there. Oh. There it is. Okay. Oh, just opens. Sweet. Yeah, D100 always actually plays the sound and or D20. Plays the roll. I got a four. A medical book. Is that a key item? Huh. That was weird. Oh, is this that same room I was just in? With all the ghosties? I'm confused now. Where's a tiara? Head back to the main lobby and up the stairs to the top floor. Head to the far left, find a flashing red button. Okay. Well, we got one of the things we needed. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a chest over here. How do I get there? Oh, there we go. Holy light. I'm guessing that's a Starkey skill. Okay. said check for a blinking red light on the top floor. Oh, it's right there. First floor. Ah, and there's a treasure chest in it. I see. That's cool. That's the trashy tiara. Is that an accessory? It is. A dirty old headdress increases your defense against magic. That's funny. Only ladies can wear a trashy tiara though. <laughs> so let's see what it would do if we put it on you. Oh, she can't wear it either. Okay. I wonder who can wear that. All right. I'm missing anything else?
We got the medical book. Heal all. We got the prop sword. Got that. Okay. I think we're ready to step into whatever that thing was. girl's trying to lip sync for her life. Coming through, excuse me. Alright, boop -a doop -a doop -a doop doop Running, running, running. Alright, before I proceed through whatever this dimensional vortex looking thing is, because that's where we got the medical book was over there. I think I'm going to take a quick ad break. So, friends, I know ads are boring, but it is a free way to support the stream. If you wouldn't mind sticking around for about 90 seconds or so, and be sure to use this time to practice some self-care. If you haven't taken your, your vitamins or your medication, this is a great reminder. Good time to go do it. I'll be right back. Wop, 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 wop. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. What did I miss? What did I miss? Ooh, a wild curfant was missed. Oh, no. I mean, you got to get that corny level up. Oop, that is not a word. What did I just type? <laughs> there we go. I'm only 2% harmonizing with the corn. 2%. That's so sad. That's like the worst corn level I could imagine. I know nothing. I know nothing. 67% squid? Wow, you're doing great. Antiabulous. Oh! Do you know who these guys are that are just kind of like stuck here? It's the Acacia Dragoons. The ones who like disappeared. Marcy's up there. You've got Karsh. It's the Dragoons. That's interesting. I've never noticed that when I've played this before. Wow. And here's General Viper right here. That's so fascinating. They're trapped. Can I go over here? Oh, I can. There's a treasure chest up here. That's so funny. Ooh, we gotta diminish. What was that element? Diminish, diminish, diminish. We'll be at the bottom. No. Oh. Diminish. Halves elemental damage. Okay, I have it. Uh, shoes. Ooh, two hundred fifty-eight dollars. You were so close to three hundred. That's amazing. Uh, Six, Sloan, Proxy, and I all bid on this whole corner of lavender beds. What size? What size? Is this the world that you don't recruit them? Yes, this is the... Um, this is Homeworld. This is Homeworld, so they don't exist in Homeworld. The Viper Manor is destroyed by um, the poor military in the Homeworld. So yeah, this is the Homeworld's version of the Acacia Dragoons. That's so interesting. Ooh, 253? I'm liking those odds. We're really close to 300. I should command something special if you actually land on 300. I wonder what I should have it do. Oh, it's a small one. I'd love to upgrade to a larger house, maybe a medium someday. But I really like how I decorated my house, so it's hard to let it go. Okay. 
where'd we go? A sunset? Have the clouds from the Dead Sea cleared up? It appears that the dimension itself is more unstable here than anywhere is. It's a time in space within a structure completely different from anywhere else. Luckily, the distortion to leave this place is still here. That's good news for us. Oh. Thought she was gonna say something more. Alright, so let's say... We can save on the same file, because we can move between the dimensions. Will you rest the Enertron? Sure. Enter the Enertron. Does this give me heals? Hmm. What happened? HP is restored. Status ever has removed. That's cool. But you're still hungry. <laughs> oh, I think they're, that's in Chrono Trigger. This is an Enertron. You get a full night's sleep in a few seconds. Yeah, that's from Chrono Trigger. In one of the domes. Interesting little Easter egg. Okay. Oops. So where are we? Are we in the same place or did we move somewhere else? I don't even know. There's Chrono and there's Marl. Is that Luca? Must be Luca. Alright, let's go over here. Looks like there's treasure chest. I would like that, please. Pigs found a screwy dress. Can hardly wear it. Yes. But it would lower her defense. Nope. Not worth it. Hey, Pharrell. Welcome in, friend. How are you? Good luck, friend. Thank you. I probably need it. That first boss wiped me out the last time I played, so I was glad to have defeated it. I brought Starkey along, because he's got some abilities that the other characters can't use. What? You're going to need it? Uh-oh. I'm scared. I'm scared. Look at these little babies. They're so cute. They're just kind of hanging out. I love her little dress. It's so heckin' cute. Oh, I know what that is. That's Lene's bell from the Millennial Square in Chrono Trigger. That's interesting. Can I talk to the ghosts? No, they don't even look at me. If you don't have Diminish, your SOL. I do have Diminish. I also have um, Starkey. I was reading a guide because Starkey is a white innate. So he has negate magic and I have two of them. Actually, let's remove that one. I just realized I have a new slot. Uh, negate magic. I wish I had three of them, but... Do, 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 do. So this is level five. Meteor shower. Good stuff. He's gonna oof Lynx and Harley. <laughs> yeah, I brought Harley because Harley's got 
her shield ability, which is really nice. The moonshine. And I've got seal all, so it would stop everyone's elements if I get real scared. Ooh, she's got a level 7 tech. Create a lunar eclipse that causes destruction. What did Lynx get? Diminish. Okay. So he's got a level 3? I'm gonna give him for level 3. Hell Soul, Gravity Blow. Wish I could sort it by um, level. Upheaval's level three. Bush Basher. Fire Pillar. Yeah. No, I already have a Fire Pillar. Um, Aqua Ball. Sure. You can sort. Hold on. So first find this guy I managed to do it first go. You can sort by Elizabeth and it does by level. Sort by Elizabeth. What do you mean sort by Elizabeth? You've got innate color first, attack first, and healing and supplement first. I don't I don't see how to how to do the thing that you're suggesting I do. I mean, it does it by the innate? No, because they're still out of order. If I do attack first, they're still out of order. Healing supplement? Kind of in order. No, not really. Yeah, I don't know how you do it by, by element level. But I'm going to go over back here and save my game or I do whatever that bell is supposed to get me to do. I saved it did my game. All right, friends. Let's go. Okay, well, thank you for dropping in and wishing me the luck. Appreciate you, Pharrell. Take care, friend. We're trying to talk to the ghost. It's a little ghost chrono. AD 1000, Nadia's Bell. Oh, it's not Linnea's Bell. It's Nadia's Bell. Based off of, what's her face? Um, Marl. <laughs> Bye, Pharrell. Oops, Pharrell. <laughs> May our prayers for peace ring on for eternity. Oh, there's some sad musics. But Nadia's bell will never be heard again. Never. We, no, everyone worked to save the planet's future for nothing. It's all because of you. You killed it, you. So many lives were supposed to be saved. His planet was to be healed with love, hope, and dreams. How could you? How could you do such a thing? It's all your fault that the world's going to end up like this. It's all your fault, Surge. Murderer! Who are those children? It's Surge's fault that the world ends up like this? Don't let it bother you. It's just a distant echo of those long gone, just an illusion. Welcome to the Tower of Geddon. Time Crash Ground Zero. I feel like that's a new portrait. I don't remember that portrait in the original game. Emmy, you're going after Ian M. Scott again. Ah! <laughs> nose. Oh, nose. 
<laughs> Preemptive gift com. Here you go. Oh, hey, Sig. Good to see you, friend. Uh, Sig has redeemed an ad. Alrighty. We could take a quick ad before we get our butts kicked by whatever's coming next. Not a problem. So let me get my message up here for y'all in the chat. We are going to take a, about a three minute break and I'll be back to continue the story in just a few moments. Y'all are lovely people. <laughs> Those are some great clips. Those are some great clips. I am amused. I'm over here dying. <laughs> I believe the Shane clip was one that I had done. I had clipped that, I think, during one of the rage raids. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. All right. Uh, let me just do that real quick. And here we go. <laughs> it's been a while, Serge, but I guess you don't remember who I am. I don't blame you. You were only a child back then. I'm Miguel, a friend of your father, and they were roommates. According to the time outside, it's been about 14 years since the night of the storm. What is this place? That was a great clip, I mean, what do you mean? It was awesome. I don't know, but I don't think we're supposed to know about it. That child. That wounded child. Bring him to me. What was that? Who's there? Wait, Wazuki, where are you going? There's no way we can get set sail again in this storm. We don't have a second to waste, or else Surge will... But I don't care what lies ahead of us. I'm going. There's no way I'll allow my son to die without a fight. I'd appreciate it if you waited for me here. Thank you for coming tonight, Miguel. Thank you. No, wait, Wazuki! Yes, I've been here in this very place for 14 years. It wasn't like this when I got here, though. An incident that occurred 10 years ago transformed it into the Dead Sea. Didn't you know? There's nothing in the world as ruthless or impartial as death. All living matter ages over time and eventually dies, no matter how mighty or tiny its life force. So being alive means you're creeping closer to death with every second. But there's none of that here. No one has and nothing ages. Nothing wastes away. This quiet, boundless, and beautiful world. An ideal world straight out of a fairy tale, isn't it? A place and time that belongs to no one. Ray Nulis. It's because this is a future that was eliminated. History is composed of choices and divergences. Each choice you make creates a new world and brings forth a new future. But at the same time, you're eliminating a different future with the choices you didn't make. A future denied of all existence because of a change in the past. A future that was destroyed even before it was born rests here condensed into the Dead Sea. How can this be? Fate. Our lives are governed by fate. Fate knows all and controls all. No one can run from fate. Even your presence here was predestined long, long ago. Wouldn't you all like to become one with this world? To be part of eternity? 
How about it, Serge? You need no longer struggle alone, nor fear an uncertain tomorrow. Well, what do you say? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I see. I guess there's only one thing left to do then. I take it you're trying to restore the dimensional distortion? If you defeat me and liberate this place, the distortion will return to the way it was. I guess this is it. Just as there are times of peace, there are times of war. You don't have to hold back. Attack me with all your soul if you wish to live. Let fate take its course. All right, here we go. I hope he doesn't wipe the floor with my bodies. Ooh, I don't like that. It missed, thank goodness. That's cheating. Oddly badass farmer dude. Yeah, he is a badass farmer dude. Strong minded. Okay. Magic defense increased. We're going to diminish right now before he starts getting a little cuckoo with his attacks. Uh, but lurk, but I'm sad about it. I kind of want to see this guy kick Lynx's butt. <laughs> well, enjoy your lurk. I hope you have a great stream, friend. Yes, I will post that up next week. I still need to edit down my Final Fantasy XIV one. Or Final Fantasy IV one. That was rude. This music is kind of meh, isn't it? Alright, let's call that out. Get our little robot blaster guy. Oh my gosh, only 37 damage. I guess he's probably a white innate, isn't he? Rude. Do... we'll do free fall. Yeah, boom. Only 73. Oh, yeah, because I diminished the... That's right. That's why it's so weak. I forgot. That was rude. Alright, element. Let's get our moonbeams going. Oh, that was the wrong spell. My bad. We need to heal. Heal yourself, Starkey. There you go. Oh no, he needed to heal Harley. My bad. I will cure pus Harley. There you go, girl. Now let's try to use her shield this time. Let's go 
try whatever that skill is. Holy Light. That's pretty. Probably not going to do much. 43. Okay. Respectable. Alright, Harley, we need to get your shield up. I want a holy dragon sword. Alright, there we go. Oh, one more. Moonshine. That's our shield. Protect. <laughs> Little baby blaster. So cute. <laughs> Heal or attack? Mm. I want to attack. We'll do another free fall. Magic protect Harley. Yes. Bam, bam. Anti black. It's not very woke of you, friend. All right. So we want to heal probably Harley. Hey, Obsessive Repulsive. What's up, Ops? I'm doing good. We're just fighting a, a tough bossy boss. Let's get you a little shout out. Hope you're having a good day. You just missed our friend Squid Monarchy. She just left to uh, get ready to stream some Neverwinter Nights. Um, let's do a gravity blow. Little baby dammies. Ob's rep. <laughs> Sounds on brand for squid. It sure does. Nickel and diamond. All right, we're just going to defund. Defund. Get some stamina up. There's that darn sword. Oof. Send feral cats. I love that skill. Uh, sounds on character for Squid. Emmy, aha, what's up? Just finished some dead uh, DVD Dead by Daylight with the oldest Chloe and her friends who are so good at the game, it makes me feel incredibly old. Your back pain wasn't enough, Obs, huh? Oh, are we dead? No, we're not dead. Sweet. Oh, he's on, he's on his knees. We winning. We're winning. Let's get a group heal. Play Project Playtime with me. What's Project Playtime, I mean? 
Is it a spooky game? Um, attack. He missed. Okay. Do meteor shot. Kaboom. It's a game made by the people Poppy Playtime made. So it sounds absolutely spoopy. I'm downloading it, okay? <laughs> All right, Harley. Do I want to heal? Could do a baby heal. Let's do a baby heal on you. Defend. Everybody, stamina back up. Ice blast. Here you go. Take that. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Nice. Nice. There's a game I downloaded, Emmy, that you should check out. I gotta remember what it's called. I was hanging out with um, Kiro, and they—it's—it's it's kind of like Mario Party with mini games and stuff, but much more cursed. Much more cursed. I think you'd really like it. I just gotta remember what the heck the name was. We should play it sometime. I think it'd be fun. We nickel and diamond this poor man to death. So slow. Uh, cure. Not Miguel. Starkey. Keep everyone alive. All right, we did the thing. We beat up Miguel. Another star, number 26. Link Scott is level seven. Harley got a number one. Starkey didn't get any. All right, got full heals. And we got a dreamer's bandana. Well done. That's the way, Serge. My, you have grown so strong. Maybe, just maybe, you and your friends have the power to defeat fate and build a new future for humanity. The Dead Sea is the true form of this planet's future. That's right. At one stage, our world was on the verge of such inevitable destruction. That was in 1999, when the parasitical life, alien life form known as Lavos awoke after centuries of feeding off this planet. Lavos fell from the heavens a countless number of years ago and burrowed deep beneath the surface to eat and sleep. Slowly, but deliberately, Lavos devoured our planet from the inside out, waiting for the time to ripen for its true awakening. Finally, Lavos did awaken and manifested its true form on the surface of the planet. It's when our world faced a death from which there seemed no possibility of escape. Were it not for a teenage boy, and his group of adventurer friends, that is, these young heroes caught a glimpse of this planet's future's destruction as it appeared in the year 2300. They realized they could not turn their backs on our planet, even if its death would not be anywhere near their lifetime. Fun fact, when you play Chrono Trigger, 
you can defeat Labos at the future. <laughs> After he's already destroyed the planet, so technically you really didn't do anything to save the planet because it's already been destroyed. <laughs> uh, in the year 2000! Yes, do you remember when Y2K was like a big deal? <laughs> My very first job, professionally, they asked me to go through the policies and procedures manuals and just kind of brush up on everything in there. And they had some very specific guidance on policies about what to do about Y2K. I thought that was hilarious. Definitely dated them. <laughs> Time traveling from epic to epic, they battled Lavos for the future of our planet and eventually won. But in saving our planet from the death Lavos was going to bring about, they also changed the course of history. At that very moment, this whole future time axis ceased to exist. Call it cause and effect. It is just a problem of possibilities after all. In this world, there is no such thing as absolutes or certainties. But that future that was supposed to have disappeared is about to be restored here. The future destruction of our planet is going to become a reality in this world once again. The vengeance of the future we killed is about to begin. With Surge serving as the trigger. That's me. Perhaps, or perhaps not. Either way, it's all part of the grand game of the gods. People are dragged into playing this game, forced to put their own lives on the line without even knowing the rules. Without even being allowed to complain, they try to do their best under the conditions placed upon them. The only alternative is to give up and leave the playing field. Three years ago, members of the Acacia Dragoons from Termina visited here. Those nights were after the frozen flame, of course, but instead, they became salt for the Dead Sea. You see, only the Chosen One can approach the flame. It looks like fate has made a decision and has started to carry it out now. It doesn't want the frozen flame to awaken in this place, at this time. It would choose to destroy the flame along with the whole Dead Sea, than to allow its enemies to take hold of the flame. The lost future is about to disappear into the darkness beyond the dimensions again. You have no time to spare. You must leave here immediately. Quick, go. Say less. I love you so much. That is why I sometimes desire to smash you to bits. <laughs> Don't worry about me. You must go now. Run, forest. Farewell, Serge. The future is yours for the taking. You, the one that the frozen flame has chosen. Yeet. My dear Lena, may you live in a happier tomorrow. Oh, that must be her dad. How sad. We running. We're not going to make it. Grab hold, sons of man. That's a heckin' dragon.
Just wanted to capture that without all the overlay stuff. Sorry, guys. That's a dragon with feathers. <laughs> I love how these games always start as catch five fish and then turn into a deadly force is threatening the world and only you can stop it. It's a definite trope problem <laughs> in RPG games. Why did you help us? I too would like to witness this. How thou shalt live and how thou shalt die. If thou art planning to bring forth a new entity, prepare thyself for anguish and sorrow. No, oh, it's gone. The Sea of Eden. If thou intendest to defy the goddess of fate, speak with the ancient dragon gods who sit in repose in Elnido. Let the path of the Sea of Eden be known when all the powers of the sleeping dragons are brought together. Serge, you're concerned about the other world, aren't you? Mm-hmm. The dimensional distortion should be back in order. Let's head to Apasa Beach. Why did we end up here? This, oh, it must be where he flew us to. Okay. Is there anything different about Marbule? No, still got those creepy ghost things. I just want to double check there's nothing I need to do before I go. Texan summons. Let's see. need to go to the beach. Although I kind of want to go here. What's here now? Oh! Now it's just ocean. With these random little fate distortion things. I wonder what those do. Could this light be a wormhole? But the amulet isn't responding. Okay, so these don't do anything for us yet. go to Apasa Beach. Alright, I'm gonna make a new save. Because we cannot go back there. I don't think I missed anything, but you never know. Look, it's back. So this is the dimensional gate. Then let's get going. How come they don't show the cutscene of Link's falling through the thing like they do with Surge? Kind of be cool. All right, we can now travel between the dimensions. Ah, ah. Go away, shoo, leave me alone. What are these things? They're like little shadow cats? Are they friendly to Lynx? 
Ha! <laughs> They're cute. Yikes! Boy, am I in a major fix. He just turned to us of the audience. That's so funny. Are you a nuisance? Are you planning to stand in the way of Monsieur Lynx's way? We'll take you on. Boop. Bye, ghosties. Pew, you saved me. I thought you were bad guys, too, from the way you look. I was looking for rainbow shells when those things started harassing me, but look, I got the shells all right. Better head back and give them to Kiki. Thanks for saving me. Bye. Hey, mister, you should be careful, too. Lots of monsters are on the loose nowadays. All the grown-ups say it's a rebellion led by Surge. And I heard this Surge is trying to kill everyone on the island. Can't believe someone wanted to do that. I wonder what's going to happen to us. I'm a menace, y'all. Ooh la la. There's so much havoc going on in this world, too. Not bad, Surge. You wiped out the whole island. A revolt led by Surge? Why do people kill one another? I don't know, Starkey. That is a really good question. Oh, we can get a rainbow shell right here. Yes. That's awesome. There's a whole bunch of text and stuff we can pick up. Defeat, dehydrate, Stina's skill. Falling from the hole inflicts sprays on your party. So, he says. Tick draggy. Okay. So we're going to just follow this guide, y'all. I think that's a good plan. So we want to go to the marshes. So before I dive in there, let's take another 90 second ad break. So we'll be back very shortly. You can play some hangman if you'd like. I don't think we've guessed the thing yet. I'll be right back. Good job, Emmy. All right, so. Woohoo! Need some braces. It is a really good one, I mean. Okay, everybody's got braces. I don't think Starkey got anything new. We gotta fight the ghost. Oops. 
do 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 all of a sudden the ground glass plus there's a strange odor uh, advise you not go down I never listen to advice go for it we don't mind Humans, mankind. This forest is dead, our hydra perished. We hate mankind so much. Listen to the planet's woes, humans. Spooky ghost. Oh, it's an undead. Oh, it's a Hydra Skelly. That's cool. It's an AoE. Nice. Um, we're gonna diminish. And we gotta get some braces on. I wonder if Starkey's Holy Light spell will just annihilate this boss. I'm gonna try it. Yes, it does! Wow! <laughs> that was cool. Doesn't even count as a boss. Have we brought about any change by defeating that Hydra? Did we do the right thing? Who knows what's right or wrong? Nobody has the answer. Serge, we should get going. Received Hydra's shadow. Alright. Greater Pendragon Sigil. Ooh. Changes weapon element to that of last element attack received. Huh. I don't quite know what that means. Yeah, I think it's Stina's tech from what I was reading. Okay. How do I get down? Do I have to go up? Yes. Alright, the next one we can get, I think, is Draggy. Do, 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 do. Green Tinkler. It could be your level five. I don't know which one it is. It's her level seven. No, wait. It's her level five. Yep. Can't be acquired automatically. Take Draggy with you to Fossil Valley next. Here, proceed to the area. Scene. Dragging is dead. Okay. Spoilers. So let's teleporter. We'll swap Harley temporarily for Draggy. 
Oh, I don't have Draggy. Oh wait, yes I do. Draggy's right there. Um, let's just do a quick allocate. Fill blanks, Draggy only. Just whatever that is. Alright, Draggy. Let's go, friend. Ooh, new enemies. That wasn't here before. Neither was that thing. What is that? Shaman? Fire's not going to do a whole lot against them, but that's a hundred. I don't think I have an SSC. Oh, that's a red bow. Uh, Meter right. None of those are AoEs. Um, we'll do one Starlight. I just don't want that red field effect. Draggy has some really thin, thin, thin wings. It's interesting. But they fly. Somewhat. Well, hello, friend. That was very friendly. <laughs> He's a baby. The kitty. The kitty's really cute. Ooh, kitty's a little toughy though. And it's kinda scary. Alright. We're gonna use kitties against kitties. Feral cats. Let's go. Oh no, Draggy's a baby. He has tiny eggs. He is a little baby. Draggy's cute. Volcano. I don't think I've used that skill. Uh, never know you can get Draggy on the first fort visit. You can't. You get him on the second. It's 
So when I became Lynx and I world hopped, I went straight to the fire, um, Mount Pyre, went through that area, as well as found Mothership and Fur and Weekend, a lot of cool stuff. Um, and I fought my way through the puzzles and I went down into the basement and I got dragged and I left. So it's not part of the story, but isn't this? Yes? No? Isn't this where Draggy comes from? Oh! It's the thing up here. My bad. That makes sense. I need to go to the... this guy. You got him your final fight? Yeah. But you can get him earlier than that. Audicia? I don't know Audicia. That must be a new person. <laughs> Mother, no, no! You sacrifice yourself to save me? I'm all alone. I have no family. Do not cry, my child. Who's there? You have great friends, Draggy. Just remember, Mother will always be in your heart. Cheer up, my child. Mother? Is that you, Mother? Yeah, I do have a lot of friends. Thank you, Mother. I'll be back. I'll come visit again with more friends. Draggy, learn big breath. Oops, I wanted to take a look at Big Breath. I thought... <clears throat> there we go. Oh, so you have to actually equip them. That makes sense. Okay. Alright, Draggy's done. Uh, you can capture these level 7 summon elements provided you have the corresponding travel ones. The traps can be purchased from a shop in another world marble, accessible only after getting the goat back. Summons when the field effect matches the innate color. That's why I couldn't summon! You have to have the whole field that color. That would make sense now. I did that already. Okay. So we got to get our boat back. So I won't be able to get those just yet. Okay. Before heading back to... Hold on. I think I have some of those elements actually. Hold on. We'll just do any color first. So mothership captures, so the star is the summon. So I have the mothership one. Do I have any other summon ones I can get? That kind of is a regular. I just shadow I can't use because that's Stina. Okay, so I just have the one. <laughs> Off to Termina. Well, actually, this guide says I should go to Viper Manor first. And I did get the Rainbow Shell. Before heading into Termina, switch to Zappa and Norris for some extra dialogue. Bring your Zappa to see this world, Zappa. They'll discuss. Oh, you're right. Okay. a lot of chaos going on it looks like over there who 
Okay, so we'll go to Termina. Who was it? Zappa and somebody else. Norris? Norris. Okay. What? 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 No, I don't want to play. Uh, Chuck Norris. <laughs> Chuck Norris. What's Chuck Norris got to do with it? Have some feral cats. What doesn't Chuck Norris have to do with it? Hello, too late, Lewis. How are you, friend? Welcome on in. He's a party member now. Which character do you think is Chuck Norris, Pharrell? Hi, hero! Wah, wah. Ooh, I'm burning. Uh, use ointment? How can Draggy be burned? He's a fire dragon. That makes no sense. The dude named... Oh, yup. I never saw that connection, Pharrell. Thank you for pointing out that out to me. I'm a dummy. All right, remove all your stuff. Remove all your stuff. I'm sure it's me. I'm sure it's me, friend. This game and my computer don't get along. They just don't. You just gave him a whole bunch of random elements. <laughs> Weird. Uh, how you been? What's good? What's new? I'm doing well. I just, uh, the last two weekends, I haven't really had an opportunity to rest. So that's been a, an experience for sure. I've been doing some really, really wild um, training that's actually been really helpful. I've noticed significant improvement already with some of the folks I work with. So I'm glad, but yeah, it's it's a lot. Commander Norris, thank you for your trouble, sir. Everything's under control, sir. So Poor has now invaded, I see. Since the Dragoons went to Fort Dragonia. That makes sense. Yes, it was EMDR training. So I am retaking my basic. So I was originally trained in EMDR therapy in 2017. I got certified in EMDR therapy in 2019. And I am starting my journey to becoming a consultant in training to assist new clinicians who are pursuing certification get to that point so i can do three quarters of the hours as a cit for folks who are working towards that level um and so i'm retaking my basic with my mentor and it's been fabulous i have been picking up more than I got my original training. It's been really great. Why Commander Norris? Thank you for your trouble. We have left only the Elmon shop alone, but that smith is a stubborn one. He will not close shop. Of course, the bar has been shut down. We're pretty thorough. We need to be, you know. Another one would want to go drinking at a time like this, but just in case. Creepy. Uh, it's awesome. Refreshers are underrated for some things. You know, honestly, I, I do consultation um, at least once a month. 
but being in a group with your peers who are kind of taking in the information, I think like half of the cohort are retakers, people who have already been trained and are retaking it. And my mentor is fabulous because her specialty is with complex trauma because the standard protocol really doesn't cut it for most people I've encountered. There's a lot you need to do for preparation. And you spend a lot of time working on important stuff in that phase that some EMDR therapy folks try to skip because they just don't know. They're not trained. They're not trained correctly. So I'm very happy with the investment. Who is it? You? A, a poor soldier's with you too? Well, in, in that case, it can't be helped. Actually, right there, I'll unlock it for you. Oh, she's finally gonna open that door? Sweet! What's in there? Oh, it's Guile. <laughs> Here, go in from the left side. Hey, Gee. You that I might have met you before, sorry, but I cannot remember. <laughs> you did meet me! We were friends! Oh, this is like a secret base. Hello! It's the Dragoons. It's been a while, Lynx, or is it Surge? That poor scumbag's with you. <laughs> as long as you're here, you're one of us. You, stay put and listen to what we gotta say. After we fought you guys, we also entered Fort Dragonia. General. You're... He disappeared? Damn. This is bad. General, are you alright? Uh, riddle. Don't just stand there. Help the general. I cannot believe this would happen to the general. Like, I can't believe it. What in Dragoon's name happened here? So, like, what are these tiny, shiny shards? Not now. We have to stop the bleeding. Marcy, you pick up those broken pieces. Ooh, Obs, if you're paying attention, Emmy sent a Tonberry after you, friend. We brought the general to Hermit's hideaway and prayed for his recovery. He was able to escape death, but he still needs rest. Or we can't leave the manor for too long. So we came back here, leaving Marcy behind to take care of him, only to find... The poor military had taken control of Termina. Damn it! What a shame. Because of them pores. What do you got? What do you what do you got to say to that? I too question the methods the military has taken. That is why I'm acting in line with Sir Lynx. Hm. The, don't you dare get in my way. Wait out what's going on. The general talks in his sleep. Lynx is behind this, correct? That bastard. He's not gonna get away with this. We've got some fault in all of this, so we gotta do something about it. But first, we've got to rescue Lady Riddle. She's being held captive at the manor, which is poor military, has converted into their headquarters. Hey, with your uniform, you can enter undetected, right? Let's join forces for the time being. It's not too late to go after him. One of us will remain here to collect info. The other will enter the manor. Let us meet afterwards. Oh yeah, the shards on the ground must have been pieces of the dragon tier. We've gathered as many as possible, but we don't have any use for them. You can have them. Got the tier of hate. Whom do you want to join? Ooh. Which is the better option? Is Remek recommended that you take Zoa so you can get his level 7 tech in the manner? However, note that you will have the other one later. Switch Zappa for Zoa and leave Termina. Okay. All right, so we're going to bring Zoa, Captain Capslocks. Yes. Zoa, join your party.
Do I not have to actually bring him? I don't actually have to bring him. Interesting. That's a creepy little picture of Lady Riddle right there. Car should be alive, thank the heavens. Go show your face to your mother as well. She's been awaiting your return. I don't know what's going on, but once this is settled, I'll do that. I did not forget. Oh yeah, Zappa is his dad. I forgot. Uh, just makes sense because his level 7 can't be obtained. You have to have him in the party. Okay. We can swap him later. Be careful. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Mama, it's Surge, it's Surge. Don't worry, dear. Sir Lynx will help us. Wow, things have flipped a little in the narrative, haven't they? As far as I haven't destroyed this um, statue of Lord Viper, it's just kind of there. Commander Norris, all is well, sir. Is Skelly in this world or the other world? I don't remember. There's Skelly. Skelly has a somewhat unique appearance, but I'm so glad he's come back. I've never seen Grandma so happy. Ah, to have Skelly come back home to me, the gods must enter my prayers. I think the heavens will my soul. Nyak, 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 nyak. As I always said, Grandma makes the best spirit shark soup in the world. Well, that's kind of nice while I'm saving the world that Skelly's just having some nice, cozy downtime visiting his grandma. <laughs> that's kind of cute, actually. Did they say they closed the element shop? Welcome. Anything new? It's like the same stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is fun guy here? Oh, there's the guy. Father suddenly got sick and told us he hasn't woken up since. Looks very peaceful. That's my only relief. Must have become tired of it all. I've been selfish and I haven't helped out much at the store. I'm sorry, Dad. Couldn't do everything. Even during the hard times after mom passed away. Hey, is anyone around? Oh, I have a customer. I have to go. Poor girl can't even grieve. Sometimes you just need some grandma soup. I agree. Nothing quite hits the spot like some grandma soup. Forest mushroom. Do I need to come back with fun guy? Guess we can try it out. A wild Eevee has appeared. I want an Eevee. I don't think I've ever seen an Eevee pop up on the Pokemon game. Oh. Then bring this boy Surge to me as soon as you find him. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. <laughs> Why, Sir Lynx? Sir Lynx, where have you been all this time? We heard that you headed to Fort Dragone with the general. Exactly what happened back there. There have been many strange occurrences since then. Perhaps you know of a boy named Serge? You are... me. What is going on? Let's just say I'm another you and leave it at that. Pardon me for saying this, but it appears that both of us need to look at the bigger picture. We will only have a limited understanding by staying in the same place. Silence. Commander Norris, there's an urgent message from command. 
What is it? Um, sir, it's a level 2 security message. Go ahead. Take no heed. This man is one of us. Yes, sir. Grobic has arrived at the manor, sir. Hmm. It's quite ahead of schedule. Understood. I'll return ASAP. Yes, sir. So, Link's forgive me, but I must return to the manor. Please come to the manor a little later. We'll discuss this in more detail there. I love how people run into their parallel world selves in this game, and they just don't... They don't seem to bat an eye. They're just like, oh, okay. So there's a parallel version of me. No big deal. <laughs> Alright, let's switch to... Fun Guy. See if he does anything. Uh, get rid of Norris. For Fun Guy. <laughs> He's one of the most cursed characters. Look at him. He's so creepy. Wow, Obs, Emmy, and I all caught the EV. That's fantastic. Is that the, the kind of Eiffel Tower experience you were looking for, Obs? Is that why you came here? Oh, so he doesn't do anything? He just freaks out? Okay, figured I'd check. Maybe you have to come back later. Ha! <laughs> Plunges, hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, teleporter. Let's get rid of this weird, creepy looking guy. You know, the B team is kind of a weird looking team, I gotta say. There's some weird people that join Lynx. Oh my gosh, look at that picture. Shall I draw you a portrait? Sure, draw Lynx. Okay, it's done. Hm. You met the Nouveau Rouge there. He's stuck up now, but he and I used to study art. It's the best of us. Ever since his beloved wife died, it's all been about money, money, money. Really changed the pity he's used his skills to make money out of counterfeit paintings. Hmm. I wonder if we need to bring Van in. Eh, caught on the fence. No suspicious sip, sure. We have information that this blacksmith makes weapons for the Dragoons. There's no use hiding it. We hereby order you to halt all operations stand down to fire that forge. Did you understand that? Hey! Stop it! That's dangerous. Craftsman's workplace is dangerous, friendly man. It's your own damn fault for coming near it. Besides, what need do I have to listen to your orders? I'll take the orders from you. Be gone with you. I have work to finish. So you're not going to stop work no matter what? Don't make me tell you the same thing twice. I've got a short temper. If you kin what I said, then get yourself out. Very well. I take it that is your answer. I will let you this go this time, but do not think we will overlook it a second time. He's scared. Commander Norris, this shop should be on our blacklist. <laughs> That's why I love this man. What a manly man he is. Alright, all I've got to do with my part is well. They said his master is only a soldier. Such a blockhead. I do not care. Cole tells me I'm going to go stop working. You be me? Ah, I need your help. I want you to hammer this thing to make that, you know what? That stuff you have, it's a rainbow. So this, you know what you be talking about, is the rainbow axe then? Ah, I knew I could count on myself. So shall we start hammering? 
It'd be a wee bit hard by myself, but with two of us working together, it should be a breeze. Hmm. I'd love to help you. But this... This here hammer is too weak for the job. And uh, if I had a studio hammer, looks like I'm no use to you for the time being. My apologies. Ah, you might be right. Do not care, tells me I'm gonna stop working. So that was the man that's smashed you in front of his wife and she cheers you. <laughs> He's something. He's fun. So I can make new weapons. Do I have the or swallow? Stone swallow? I have everything to make that, right? Definitely gonna make one of those. So Zappa, what kind of weapon does Zappa use? Is it an axe? It's a glove. A granite glove. Okay. What does Harley use? I think I want Harley. You need a hammer in Goldo? I don't think I can make a hammer, can I? Do -do -do. Can make an axe. Guess we'll go with that for now. Could make those, but I'm gonna wait. The maze of material called Rainbow can be smith and find items. When we were young, went out to search for ourselves, but never found it. We stopped searching when Karsh was born. Children are far more valuable than treasure, you know. That man hasn't been shut down yet. Who knows when he might yell out what he's going back on his search. Oh dear, where are you going? I thought you said work to do. Okay, so... You now have a new weapon. Wait. It's poor? 41, 88%. Oh, because that's copper. We want stone. Phew! Is Pierre still here? Yeah. The poor military shall surely greet Moi with your hero's welcome into their arms. I really don't like Pierre. Why is this person just chilling in the corner? Girl, what are you doing over here? I'm scared. Where's the getaway boat? Tell me about it. These guys are just the same. So, do I need to get Van? Before leaving, put Van and Fun Guy in your party. Go back and determine it. Have Fun Guy drop himself in the back of the item shop. Head to Van's house, speak to his father's upstairs room. Make sure to place Zoa and Norris back in your party. So we need Zoa and Norris? Okay. So. We gotta get rid of Zappa. So if I'm going to have Norris, let's see if we can make his weapon. I think he has a gun. Then right gun. Yes. Yes, I know about rainbow shells. So 
So Norris, we're keeping. Give you a helmet. Do, 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 do. Asian hit percent. It's a lot he can't wear. Oh, because they're all helmets. Strategic with those. So let's get Van. Talk to his spoiled counterfeit selling father. I've really used Van at all. No master, you shouldn't be out on time as I be scolded. No master. His run is weird. What is he holding in his hand? Nothing? He just runs like that? Yeah, you probably could use it right at the save. I just, I think it was just as much distance for me, honestly. Dad, what's the matter? It's quite uncommon for you to pay me a visit in my room. Dad? You must be eating some really good food. Haha, <laughs> what are you talking about? You've been eating just as well, hmm? Is that a piggy bank I see in the bag? See, you finally realize the importance of saving. Father's so pleased. With something so small, you'll be able to fit so much in there, will you? Here, I'll give you a bigger one. Ben's piggy bank got bigger. Thanks. And in return, I'll give you this to you, I mean, father. What's this? It's strange. It looks familiar. It's my treasure, but I'll give it to you, father. I think mom would have liked that. Mom? Oh, it's a little shell he's listening to. Though it's cracked and you can't hear the waves in it, it's bringing back all my memories. The morning Ben was born. First word he ever spoke, tears in his eyes when she heard him in her eyes when she heard him speak. He was full of happiness and passion. Might have forgotten something very important along with this cracked seashell. Okay, it's the same dialogue. Yes, thank you. Let's go talk to ourselves, Van. Looks like he's carrying a gun to me. Look at his pose. Looks like he's got a gun or something behind him he's holding on to, or a knife. It's a weird look. Soldiers are all dawdling around here. I wonder what was happening. Uh, I guess there are problems in any world you go to. Hey, me. Let's both try to live up our, to our best. My goodness, you look like me. Could you be a doppelganger? If so, am I going to die and have to go to heaven soon? What are you talking about? So you're not. So you must be father's illegitimate son. Normally this would be a tearful reunion or some such thing, but I'm not a dullard. I know this guy's me, but it hurts my head knowing he's such a blockhead. <laughs> How dare you? What do you mean blockhead? Oh well, keep working on your paintings. I'll take care of all the dirty work. I do not comprehend what you're saying, but best of luck to you two. That was cute. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, I think that's it for this town. I guess the only other two places I could check... We can check the shrine? I haven't checked that. I don't see a boat. Is there anybody just chilling down here? Sword looks the same. Nothing changed there. Okay. What about in here? Oh, there's Krobik. Oh, my chibi. Strange. I sense I felt your presence before. I can't remember. It's too bad I can't just recruit them back. It's kind of weird that you can't. And then I'll check the docks area. Don't think there's anything here I can do. But we'll see. No suspicious ships. There's no boat there. Okay. All as well, too bad we couldn't see the famed Viper Festival. So the festival was cancelled. That's sad. And there's Mickey. It's conscious been postponed. Nikki's acting strange. Just wanna pack up and hurry out of Turbida. Guess we just need to prepare to go to Viper Manor. Do, 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 do. I don't have a boat. Okay, so, oops. We will swap back then for Mr. Capslock. You're gonna go play your file now, you're getting jelly. Nice. Have fun, friend. Um, who did I have in my party? Harley? Take that stuff off you. Elements. Gotta take these off you. Revolve. Yes. Okay. Oh, he can apparently wear the trashy tiara. Oh, because it's a helmet. That's what. Okay. Usually one slot. So is it like there's one ring slot? No? Dragoon Gauntlet. Sight Scope. Everybody's got Mithra Mail, Mithra Helmet, a Helmet, okay. Two yellow idates. That's an interesting combination. Healing first. Give you a revive. Cover all. Purify. Heal all. Heal. 
here plus. Healing first. Cover all. Purify. Heal all. Heal. Heal. Cure plus. Cure. Cure. Thunderstorm. That's an interesting name. Low res negate physical. Okay. Okay. Any attribute first. Uplift, uplift. Evil, Electro Joe, Electro Bolt, First the Diminish, Do -do -do -do. Not revenge. It's gonna purify. Diminish. And to give you a diminish. Saved on the wrong file. Oop, that would have been bad. Okay. You know, I think this is a good place for us to pause our journey. Got some new text. We got back to the home world. We now can swap between the universes. So I think this is a great place for us to raid out. So let me pop over here and let us see who's on for us to raid tonight. Do, 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 do. I'm so lagged, it's so funny. Sorry, friends. Chrono Cross definitely is not an easy game for me to stream, evidently. I <laughs> ordered my, my computer. Ian M. Scott's on. Person that Emmy kept trying to shank. We go see him. Playing Lost Judgment. Yeah, I think that'll be a good cozy place for us to go chill out. All right. Super lag. So I'm going to post my link to all my socials. If any of you would like to stalk me on the internet, you can check out my card right there. Uh, I'm on Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. Um, I think that's most of the places I post content to. Uh, it's a free way to uh, support me is to interact and subscribe to any of my things. We get our raid message printed out here while we get things ready to go. Copy that. Get our raid started. Beautiful. So if you are a follower and you'd like to copy the raid message, that first message right there up top is uh, for everybody to copy and paste in and that one below is for our subscribers so we're gonna roll our credits there i just realized the typo in that message is says thank you for like the number for joining the stream that's cute 
I don't know if I want to fix that now that I've noticed it. That's actually really funny. Um, I, I may be back tomorrow morning earlier than my typical time because I have some plans in the afternoon to do some networking and talk about a project with somebody that I'd like to put together, which would involve stream. But otherwise, uh, I will definitely be back next week to continue our playthrough of Final Fantasy IV. But I, I should be up early enough to stream a little bit in the morning. Probably going to do Final Fantasy IV again so we can continue that playthrough. But until then, I will see you friends. Have a fabulous evening. Stay cozy. And remember that you matter and that you're right. Bye, guys. <laughs>